I'm Yishuang from HarbyMandarin.com. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to speak Chinese with more emotion using 10 different adverbs of degree. Adverbs of degree let you change the strength of what you're saying. Using them, you can describe the weather as being a little bit cold, a movie as being fairly interesting, or a person as being especially beautiful. Oh, I like that, teacher. Okay, let's begin. Our first adverb of degree is 有点, which means a little. 有点 is generally used when complaining or describing a negative situation. For example, you could use 有点 to say, I'm a little tired, she is a little sad, or today is a little cold. It isn't normally used with positive adjectives like smart, beautiful, or happy. So you wouldn't use it to say she is a little beautiful or I'm a little happy. Note that the N in 有点 is silent. Please repeat after me. 有点有点有点 a little. 有点 follows this structure. It's the subject followed by 有点 followed by the adjective you are modifying. For example, I'm a little tired. 我有点累. 我 is the subject, I. 有点 means a little. And 累 is the adjective meaning tired. 我有点累. 我有点累. I'm a little tired. She is a little sad. 她有点难过. 她 means she. 有点 means a little. And 难过 means sad. 她有点难过. 她有点难过. She is a little sad. Our next adverb of degree is 有些, which means somewhat. Like with 有点, a little, 有些 is also generally used when complaining or describing a negative situation. 有些, 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 somewhat. The structure for 有些 is the same as for 有点. That's the case for most of the adverbs of degree in this lesson. I'll point out the ones that have a different structure when we cover them. I'm somewhat disappointed. 我有些失望. 我 means I. 有些 means somewhat. And 失望 means disappointed. 我有些失望. 我有些失望. I'm somewhat disappointed. He is somewhat angry. 他有些生气. 他 means he. 有些 means somewhat. And 生气 means angry. 他有些生气. 他有些生气. He is somewhat angry. As a reminder, 有点 and 有些 are generally used to complain or describe a negative situation. The other adverbs of degree in this lesson can be used for both positive and negative situations and for complimenting or complaining. Next is 挺的, which means fairly. When you use 挺的, you're saying that someone or something is nicer, taller, or smarter than average, but is not very nice, tall, or smart. So you could use it to say that someone is fairly tall, but not very tall, or that a movie is fairly interesting, but not very interesting. 挺的 is commonly used in daily conversation. 挺的 挺的, 挺的, fairly. 挺的 is one of the adverbs of degree that has a slightly different structure. Instead of coming before the adjective, it surrounds the adjective you're modifying. 
I'm fairly good. 我挺好的。我 means I. 挺的 means fairly, and 好 means good. When my friends ask how I'm doing, I'll often respond with 我挺好的 I'm fairly good. It really means that everything is going well, but to sound more modest, people will often answer with 挺好的 fairly good. 我挺好的。我挺好的。I'm fairly good. Today is fairly cold. 今天挺冷的。今天 means today. 挺的 means fairly, and 冷 means cold. 今天挺冷的。今天挺冷的。Today is fairly cold. Next is 比较 which means relatively. You can use 比较 when comparing things and saying that one of them is nicer, smarter, or cheaper than the others. It's also used to say that someone or something is nicer, smarter, or cheaper than usual. 比较，比较，比较 relatively. That restaurant is relatively close. 那个饭店比较近。那个饭店 means that restaurant. 比较 means relatively, and 近 means close. 那个饭店比较近。那个饭店比较近。That restaurant is relatively close. This question is relatively difficult. 这个问题比较难。这个问题 means this question. 比较 means relatively, and 难 means difficult. 这个问题比较难。这个问题比较难。This question is relatively difficult. Next is 很 which means very. Although 很 means very, it also acts as the verb to be when connecting adjectives to subjects. In this case, the meaning very is diminished. 很很很 very. I'm happy. 我很高兴。我 means I. 很 means very, but in this case. The meaning "very" is diminished, and it's just used to connect the adjective "gao xing" (happy) to the subject. 我很高兴。我很高兴。I'm happy. He is smart. 他很聪明。他 means he. 很 here is just used to connect the adjective 聪明 (smart) to the subject. 他很聪明。他很聪明。He is smart. To emphasize that I'm very happy or that he is very smart, you can use 非常 instead of 很。非常 means very. Use 非常 when you want to emphasize that someone or something is very good, tall, smart, expensive, etc. 非常。非常，非常 ，very. I'm very happy. 我非常高兴。He is very smart. 他非常聪明。Next is 特别 which means especially. It's used to describe someone or something as being uncommonly good, tall, smart, expensive, etc. 特别，特别，特别 ，especially. He is especially tall. 他特别高。他 means he. 特别 means especially, and 高 means tall. 他特别高。他特别高。He is especially tall. 
This dish is especially spicy. 这道菜特别辣。这道菜 means this dish. 特别 means especially, and 辣 means spicy. 这道菜特别辣。这道菜特别辣。This dish is especially spicy. Next, we have 真 which means really. 真 is special because it expresses an exclamation or feeling of surprise about how good or bad something is. 真，真，真 ，really. You are really beautiful. 你真漂亮。你 means you. 真 means really, and 漂亮 means beautiful. This is something I might say when I see a friend all dressed up for a special occasion. 你真漂亮。You're really beautiful. You're really beautiful. He is really handsome. He is really handsome. He means he. He means really. And handsome means handsome. I might say this to my friend when a surprisingly handsome guy walks by. He is really handsome. He is really handsome. He is really handsome. Next is 好 You have probably learned before that 好 means good. Well, 好 can also mean so or very when it comes before an adjective. And just like with 真 using 好 also expresses an exclamation or feeling of surprise. 好好好 so or very. You are so great. 你好棒。你 means you. 好 means so or very, and 棒 means great. I would say this when I'm really impressed by what someone did. 你好棒。你好棒。You are so great. This dish is so awful. 这道菜好难吃。这道菜 means this dish. 好 means so or very, and 难吃 literally means difficult to eat. In other words, the food is awful. This is something I would say after trying some food which is surprisingly bad. 这道菜好难吃。这道菜好难吃。This dish is so awful. 太了 is the last adverb of degree in this lesson. 太了 means so or excessively. It's used to say that someone or something is so tall, busy, or expensive, or too tall, busy, or expensive, depending on the context. 太了太了太了 so or excessively. Just like we learned with 挺的，太了 also surrounds the adjective you are modifying. This movie is so interesting. 这个电影太有意思了。这个电影 means this movie. 太了 means so, and 有意思 means interesting. 这个电影太有意思了。这个电影太有意思了。This movie is so interesting. That cell phone is too expensive. 那个手机太贵了。那个手机 means that cell phone. 太了 means too or excessively, and 贵 means expensive. 那个手机太贵了。那个手机太贵了。That cell phone is too expensive. Okay, that covers the ten different adverbs of degree that will help you add more emotion to your Chinese. 
In addition to using adverbs of degree to modify adjectives, you can also use them to modify psychological verbs. Psychological verbs express your mental state, such as like, love, hate, regret, worry, and hope. Here are some examples. I love him very much. 我非常爱他. In this sentence, the adverb of degree 非常, very, is modifying the psychological verb I love. 我爱. 非常, very. I love. 他, him. I very love him. In other words, I love him very much. 我非常爱他. I love him very much. I especially hate mosquitoes. 我特别讨厌蚊子. In this sentence, the adverb of degree 特别, especially, is modifying the psychological verb 讨厌, hate. 我爱. 特别, especially. 讨厌, hate. 蚊子, mosquitoes. 我特别讨厌蚊子. I especially hate mosquitoes. I really worry about her. 我真担心她. Here, 真, really, is modifying the psychological verb 担心, worry about. 我, I. 真, really. 担心, worry about. 她, her. 我真担心她. I really worry about her. Here are some other psychological verbs you can use with the adverbs of degree that we learned today to create your own expressive sentences. Before ending this lesson, I would like to take some time to thank Mel from Virginia, Victoria from Illinois, and Wolfgang from Germany for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. 谢谢你们. If you would like to make a contribution to my YouTube channel, please follow the link at the end of this video. Okay, that's all for this lesson. I hope you have found this lesson useful. Did you enjoy it? Please click like below and leave me a comment. If you are interested in private Chinese lessons, please visit my website, harbinmandarin.com, and send me a message. I will see you guys next time. 再见!